Good morning students. Hope you all wrote your exam well. Is it? Okay. Let's get into the chapter 2. Exercise 2.2. So what is your exercise 2.2? Absolute value. We saw in the last class itself, right? So what does mean by absolute value? Absolute value means mod x. Mod is your absolute value, right? So what does mean by mod x? Both positive and negative value so mod x it may be x or minus x right so this x size that is x size 2.2 we are going to solve the absolute value so we are going to solve and we are going to get the x value okay so take your x size second uh, 2.2 first problem already we completed so second problem question solve 1 by mod 2x minus 1 less than 6 and express the solution using the interval notation. So what is the question is given here? 1 by mod 2x minus 1 is less than 6. Okay, So we have to solve this absolute value and we are going to find out your x value. Right? Okay, so solution. How we can start? So we can take the question. What is question given? 1 by mod 2x minus 1 which is less than 6 is given. Correct? This is mod which implies we can take this mod to your right hand side. So how can we write 1 less than 6 into mod 2x minus 1. Okay, well, so again, you can take this plus 1 to that side. So, what it will become the implies 0 less than 6 mod 2x minus 1 minus 1. Is that right? So, what now we can remove your mod value. So, how can we remove uh, mod by taking plus or minus value? Correct? Uh? So, which this implies 0 less than plus or minus is that right so we are removing the what is that we are removing the mod and we are taking plus or minus 6 into 2x minus 1 and last one is minus 1 is that right 2x minus 1 6 into 2x minus 1 minus 1 okay now uh, so first we can take plus value next we can take minus value uh, both value I can do it here okay so first if I take plus value 0 less than 6 into 2x minus 1 minus 1 okay well, next we can take minus value that is 0 less than minus 6 into 2x minus 1 minus 1. Is that right? Okay. Now we can solve this one. 0 less than 6 2s are 12x uh, minus 6 minus 1. And this will become 0 less than minus 12x minus into minus plus 1 into 6 6 minus 1. Okay. Well, again if you solve 0 less than 12x minus 7. 0 less than minus 12x plus 5 is that right now take 7 to this side so this will become 7 less than 12x so 7 by 12 less than x correct huh? similarly if you take this one when take minus 5 to this sorry plus 5 to the side you will get minus 5 so minus 5 less than minus 12x and if you want to remove your uh, minus value you have to change the inequality so this will become 5 greater than 12x okay well, so what is your x value here uh, 5 we can take 12 to this side so 5 by 12 greater than uh, 5 by 12 greater than x so we got your x value what are the x value uh, x should be less than uh, sorry uh, x is greater than uh, 7 by 12 and x is less than 5 by 12 okay well, so uh, here we can take it uh, express the solution using the interval notation so interval we want to um, uh, give the answer this one okay well, before that we can take a number line so this is your number line okay and number line and this is your minus infinity 
plus infinity this is your zero point okay well, so 5 by 12 now somewhere over in the positive right so 5 by 12 is over here and uh, 7 by 12 is over here so what is this meaning uh, uh, x should be less than 5 by 12 so less than 5 by 12 now this area will come correct huh? less than 5 by 12 next uh, 7 by 12 greater than x so x should be greater than 7 by 12 so this area will come greater than 7 by 12 okay now we can write this answer in the interval notation so what is your final answer x belongs to minus infinity to 5 by 12 correct huh? this is your number line so uh, solution will be from here to 5 by 12 and 7 by 12 to infinity that is your final answer so x belongs to minus infinity comma 5 by 12 okay union union means we have to take all the numbers right so 7 by 12 comma infinity this is your final answer so x belongs to minus infinity comma 5 by 12 union 7 by 12 comma infinity your third question solve minus 3 mod x plus 5 less than or equal to minus 2 graph the solution in a number line so again we have to uh, find the solution for this mod uh, x and we have to give the solution in the number line okay well, so solution first we can take the question as it is minus 3 mod x plus 5 less than or equal to minus 2 is that clear okay so first what we have to do keep mod x in one side the remaining all to the other side so first we can take this plus 5 to that side so this will become minus 3 mod x less than or equal to minus 2 plus 5 will become minus 5 so this will become minus uh, 3 mod x less than or equal to minus 7 so again take minus 3 to that side so it will become mod x okay so mod x and here it is minus no so we can change the uh, inequality so this is less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to 7 by 3 okay well, so what is mean by mod x greater than or equal to 7 by 3 that means minus 7 by 3 greater than or equal to x greater than or equal to 7 by 3 this is the meaning okay well, so this x value lies between minus 7 by x and uh, uh, 7 by x okay not lies between that is minus 7 by 3 minus 7 by 3 greater than or equal to x greater than or equal to 7 by 3 so if we draw this in number line now so we can take the number line this is your number line this is minus infinity this is infinity so 7 by 3 is your positive side minus 7 by 3 is your negative side correct huh? okay now what is given uh, uh, this x should be greater than or equal to 7 by 3 so greater than or equal to uh, this area similarly this x should be less than or equal to minus 7 by 3 so less than or equal to uh, this area okay well, so this is your uh, uh, solution set in the number line and your final answer is x belongs to okay x belongs to uh, minus infinity to this correct huh? similarly 7 by 3 to my infinity sorry this is minus infinity this is plus infinity so your x belongs to minus infinity comma minus 7 by 3 and since it is greater than or equal to you have to use the uh, uh, square bracket what is mean by square bracket square bracket now this number is also include union 7 by 3 comma infinity this is your final answer is that clear okay next your fourth question your fourth question it is given that 2 mod x plus 1 minus 6 less than or equal to 7 this is also as like your previous problem so first what we have to do uh, keep mod x plus 1 in one side the remaining all to other side okay well, so your solution becomes uh, first we can take minus 6 to that side so 2 mod x plus 1 less than or equal to 7 plus 6 correct huh? so 2 
mod x plus 1 less than or equal to 13. 6 plus 7 is 13. Correct? Huh? So, again, taking 2 to that side will become mod x plus 1 uh, less than or equal to 13 by 2. So, what is this meaning? Mod, if, uh, if we, uh, that is some... Uh, uh, x in one side the remaining all in other side so we can take the modulus out how can we take modulus out taking your positive value as well as negative value so this will become minus 13 by 2 less than or equal to x plus 1 less than or equal to 13 by 2 but we have to get your x value only no right so take my uh, plus 1 to that side so this will become minus 13 by 2 minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 13 by 2 minus 1. Is that clear? And taking LCM you will get minus 15 by 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 11 by 2. Taking LCM. So we got your x value right. Now take your number line. So this is your number line minus infinity to infinity so 11 by 2 is over here this is minus 15 by 2 is over here okay well, now uh, what is your uh, x value x value should be greater than 11 uh, f minus 15 by 12 so greater than minus 15 by 12 now this area correct huh? and also x should be less than 11 by 12 so less than 11 by 12 now this is a whole area so your solution set is over here only okay see this one minus 15 by 2 less than or equal to x so x should be uh, greater than minus 15 by 2 so greater than 9 it will come here next up x should be less than 11 by 2 so less than 11 by 2 is over here so your solution region is over here your solution region is over here okay well, so therefore your final answer your solution set is your solution set is what is your solution set minus 15 by 2 comma 11 by 2 so your x belongs to minus 15 by 2 comma 11 by 2 is that clear yes and uh, your fifth question so fifth question it is given that uh, uh, given that 1 by 5 mod 10x minus 2 is less than 1 okay well, so if you know the concept then the problem will be easy so what is your concept we have to find out this modulus value right we have to find out your x value actually final answer we have to find out your x value that's all so how to find out your x value keeping mod in one side taking all the elements to other side keeping x in one side taking all other elements to that side that is your final answer okay well, so here first what we can take we can take this plus five uh, sorry uh, five to that side then remove the modulus then take two to that side then take ten to that side that's all you will get your x value so what is the first step taking five to that side removing modulus taking two taking ten outside that's all okay so first step 1 by 5 mod 10x minus 2 less than 1. Correct? Huh? So, we can take 5 to that side. So, this will become mod 10x minus 2 uh, uh, less than or equal less than 5. Okay? Huh? So, less than 5. Now, we have taken this uh, 5. Then, we can take the mod less out. So, mod less out. Now, what we have to take? Taking minus 5 and plus 5. So, minus 5 less than 10x minus 2 less than 5. Correct? Huh? Now, taking 2 to that side. Here it is minus 2. So, this will become plus 2. Minus 5 plus 2 less than 10x less than 5 plus 2. Is that clear? Okay. Next. Minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3 less than 10x 
less than 5 plus 2 7 taking 10 to that side so minus 3 by 10 less than x less than 7 by 10 okay well, now uh, that's all we see center only x is there so we arrived the final answer now take this in the number line so number line now minus uh, infinity to infinity this is your minus 3 by 10 this is your 7 by 10 okay well, now your x should be greater than minus 3 by 10 and less than 7 by 10 so greater than less than 7 by 10 now your region will be over here that's all so what is your final answer therefore the solution set is your solution set is minus 3 by 10 comma 7 by 10 is that clear next topic is linear inequality so what does mean by linear equation linear equation is of the form f of x equal to ax plus b so the power of x will be 1 if the power of x will be 1, then it is called linear equation. Okay, well, so can I give a linear equation example? So we can give x plus 2, x plus a or uh, x. This is all your linear equation. Okay, well, so we know we studied about linear equation. But this exercise, we are going to see about linear inequality. What is that linear inequality? So, linear inequality means linear equation which, in, which involves inequality. So, how to solve the linear inequality we are going to see. So, was la last exercise what we have seen, last exercise, absolute value we have seen, correct? So, here, not, not absolute value, but we are going to solve the linear inequality. So, what does it mean by linear, linear function? Linear function means your x power should be 1. If x, is, if x power is more than 1, that is called a quadratic equation. Okay, well, so now this exercise we are going to solve only linear inequality. So take your exercise 2.3 first problem. Represent the following inequality in the interval notation. So some inequality is given. We are going to represent that inequality in the interval notation. Okay, well. So take your first problem, third subdivision. What is given? X less than or equal, less than minus 1 or X less than 3. So if you use the number line, then it will be easy to give the solution. Okay, well. So first we can take the number line. Minus infinity to infinity. And what are the values is given? Minus 1 and 3. So minus 1 is over here. 3 is over here. Okay. Well, now what is given? X less than minus 1. Or X less than 3. Any values we can take. Correct. So we can take the bigger value. Now uh, just see this one. X less than minus 1. Now which value? This value. Right. Now X less than minus 3. So, what is mean by x less than minus 3? Uh, uh, below 3. Correct? So, first we, if we draw this one, x less than minus 1, na, this area will come. x less than 3, na, this area will come all together. Correct? Huh? So, these are the solution. Now, tell me what is the solution? Minus infinity to 3 is the solution. Right? So, uh, within one step, you can give the answer. What is the solution? x belongs to minus infinity comma 3. Is that right? Okay. Now take your first subdivision. What is your first subdivision? x greater than or equal to minus 1 and x less than 4. So again, uh, if you draw the number line, then it will be easy. So solution, we can take the number line minus infinity to infinity. This is your minus 1. And this is your 4. Okay. Well, now, 
x greater than minus 1. So, x greater than minus 1, this area will come x less than 4 less than 4 now this area will come so all together we have to take okay well, now tell me what is the solution the solution is between minus 1 and 4 correct huh? the solution between minus 1 and 4 so within one step what is the answer x belongs to minus 1 comma 4 is that clear okay why i have used a square bracket because less than or equal to given. So, less than or equal to given uh, that both values we have to consider. Right? Now, your fourth subdivision. What is your fourth subdivision question? Minus 2x greater than 0 or 3x minus 4 less than 11. Okay. So, can we give directly, uh, can we give the answer directly here? No. Why? Because... Only x value, you know, we can draw it in the number line. But here it is given as minus 2x. And another value it is given as 3x minus 4 is less than 11. So first, we have to solve this linear. This is your linear equation. So we have to solve this linear equation. Then only we can give the answer. Okay. So how to solve, how to solve this one? Minus 2x greater than 0. Correct? Huh? It is given like that. So here we can take. When this minus 2 goes to that side, it will become 0, right? Uh, sorry, 2 goes to that side, it will become as 0. So, we can take minus x greater than 0. And this side, we can take uh, we can take 4 to that side. So, 3x less than, what is 11 plus 4? 11 plus 4 is 15. Directly, can we take? Yes. Okay. Next up. Uh, if you want to change the sign, you have to change the inequality. So, this we can write x less than 0. Correct? Huh? Similarly, here you can take 3 to that side. So, x less than 15 by 3. What is 15 by 3? Uh, 5, 3 is on 15. Correct? So, x less than 5. Is that right? So, here I can give the answer here itself. So, what is your number line? This is your number line. That is minus infinity to infinity. So, this is your 5. This is your 0. So, x less than 0 now this area. x less than 5 now this area. So, all together. So, what is your final answer? x belongs to minus infinity to 5. Correct? Huh? So, minus infinity to 5 is your final answer. Second question, solve 23x less than 100 when x is natural number, x is integer. So, two subdivisions is given. Equation inequality is given as, linear inequality is given as 23x less than 100. Okay, well, so 23x less than 100 is given. We have to solve this inequality and we have to find out your x value. When it is natural number and second one is when it is integer. Okay. Well, okay. So, first what is given? 23x less than 100 is given. Correct? So, keep x in one side, the remaining all to other side. So, you will get x less than 100 by 23. So, if you cancel this 23 and 100, divide that you will get answer as uh, uh, 4 uh, point. Uh, Balance will be 3, so 3, 4. Something you will get. So, x will be less than 4.34 you will get. Correct? Huh? Okay. So, x should be a what? Natural number. So, natural number now what will be the value? x equal to 1, 2, 3. 4 you cannot take because it is 4.3 only. Okay. Therefore, your solution set. What is your solution set? Solution set is 1, 2 and 3 only. Okay, well, because it is only natural number. So, we have to take only 1, 2 and 3. Now, your second subdivision. When x is an integer. So, what is a... What does mean by integer? Integer means minus infinity to plus infinity. Correct? Huh? So, what is the x value we got? x less than 4.34. So, x less than 
फोर पॉइंट थ्री फोर दैट इज वॉट इज योर एक्स वैल्यू फोर फोर वी के नॉट टेक लेस देन फोर वन लिया सो थ्री टू वन जीरो माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री एक्सेट्रा इज दैट राइट सो दीज आर योर एक्स वैल्यूज इज दैट क्लियर दैर फोर योर सोल्यूशन सेट दैर फोर योर सोल्यूशन सेट इज एक्सेट्रा अप टू माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री दैट्स ऑल दिस इज योर सोल्यूशन सेट Is that clear? Yes. Next, your fourth problem. Okay, fourth problem. Your first subdivision. It is given that three of x minus two by five less than or equal to five two minus x by three. Okay, so this is not absolute value. This is only linear function. So only x x correct? So it is linear function. So your solution. Just we have to simplify your left hand side, simplify your right hand side. Then use the inequality. That's all. So first we can uh, uh, multiply this three inside the bracket. So you will get three x minus six by five. Correct? Less than or equal to five to the ten minus five x by three. Now take five to this side and three to this side. That is cross multiplication, right? So you will get three three is our nine x minus six three is our eighteen. Less than or equal to ten five is our fifty minus five five is our twenty five x. Is that clear? So take all x terms in one side, constant in one side. So taking x term to one side, you will get nine x plus twenty five x less than or equal to fifty plus eighteen. And if you add this, you will get thirty four x less than or equal to sixty eight. And taking thirty four to that side, you will get sixty eight by thirty four. That is x less than or equal to two. So x less than or equal to two means what? What is your solution set there for? Your solution set is less than two, na minus infinity to two. Correcta? Ah, uh, since it is less than, we have to use a square bracket. So your final answer is minus infinity comma two. Is that clear? Now your second sub. Your second subdivision. Given that five minus x by three less than x minus two by four. So this is also as like your previous problem. We have to simplify your left hand side and right hand side. Take all x terms to one side, constant term to other side. Then you can solve the problem. So your solution will be first left hand side as it is five minus x by three less than. Ah, uh, here we can take the LCM. So LCM uh, for multiply this one. So x minus four two zero eight by two. Now take. Two to that side and three to the side. So this will become five two is a ten minus two x less than three x minus eight three is a twenty four. Now taking uh, all uh, uh, constant term to one side. So ten plus twenty four less than three x plus two x. So thirty four plus uh, ten twenty four plus ten is thirty four uh, less than five x. So thirty four by five less than x is that right? So therefore your solution set is solution. Therefore your uh, solution set is uh, x should be greater than twenty four by thirty four by five, right? So thirty four by five comma infinity is your final answer. Your fifth question, ah, uh, from fifth question onwards, it is a word problem. So you have to write down the equation, then you have to solve the inequality. So your fifth question, 
to secure an A grade, one must obtain an average of 90 marks or more in five subjects, each of maximum 100 marks. So, if a person have to get A grade, he have to write uh, five subjects. Uh, so, he have to get an average of 90. Okay, ma? and maximum mark marks of each subject is 100. And if one scored 84, 87, 95, 91 in first four subjects, what is the minimum mark one scored in the fifth subject to get A grade in the course? So one person he got uh, uh, 84, 87, 95, 91 in four subjects. So fifth subject uh, he didn't have mark so how much mark he have to get so that he can get an average of 90 marks so that he will get a A grade. This is a question. Okay. So, so let's see the solution. Let the person obtain X marks in the fifth subject. We don't know uh, fifth subject marks. So we can take it that as X. Okay. Well, so what are the four subjects marks? 87, 95. 84 okay 84 i didn't 84 87 95 and 91 plus your fifth subject correct so by five average means uh, uh, the total number divided by that number and what he must should get greater than or equal to 90 then only he will get a grade right so this is the inequality uh, till your last problem they gave this uh, equality we uh, inequality we have just solved but here we have to write the inequality then we have to solve is that clear this is your average why greater than or equal to 90 because more than 90 only he will get an a grade that's why greater than or equal to symbol here okay so if we add this 4 we will get 357 plus x value we don't know by 5 greater than or equal to 90 correct now as usual taking 5 to that side 357 to that side you will get the answer so here what you will get uh, 357 plus x greater than or equal to 9 5 is a 45 so 450 you will get again taking 357 to that side you will get x less than or e greater than or equal to 450 minus 357 that is x greater than or equal to 93 so, so how much he have to get in the fifth subject 93 or more than 93 correct therefore you can conclude the answer uh, thus the person must obtain he have to get right so must obtain a minimum of 93 marks to get A grade. Correct? Huh? To get A grade in the course. Is that clear? And your seventh question. Find all pairs of consecutive odd natural numbers both of which are larger than 10 and their sum is less than 40. So we have to find two consecutive odd natural numbers. Only we have to take odd number and it should be a consecutive numbers. What does it mean by consecutive numbers? The next next number. So if suppose 5 is the number, what is the next consecutive odd number? 7. Or uh, if I take 9, what will be the next consecutive odd number? 11. Okay, so consecutive means uh, the upcoming number. Okay, so we have to find two, con uh, two consecutive odd natural numbers. And what is condition is given? Both of which are larger than 10. So that consecutive number should be uh, larger than 10. And if we add the two number, that should be less than 40. Is that okay okay so uh, given that what is given we can take let we don't know what will be the number so we can take that as, as x so let x be the smaller smaller of two 
positive odd integer only we have to take because the question is given like that okay so two odd integers mm. so two odd integer now one will be x now uh, then the other one will be the other one is what only we have to take odd number now so next odd number will be x plus 2 is that clear so first odd number x second odd number x plus 2 now what is given uh, x greater than 10 correct uh, both of which are larger than 10 so this uh, x should be greater than 10 similarly x plus 2 greater than 10 okay now uh, from this we can take uh, this one we can't do anything so here we can take uh, x taking two to, to that side so x uh, greater than 10 minus 2 that is x greater than 8 okay ma? so this is your first equation this is your second equation right so from 1 and 2 so x greater than 8 x uh, sorry x greater than 10 x greater than 8 we can take that as so x greater than 10 x greater than 8 all together we can take it that as x greater than 10 we can take it that as equation number 3 so what is the other condition is given and their sum is less than 40 so we can use this condition now what is your second condition given x uh, the two consecutive numbers, sum of two consecutive numbers should be less than 40, correct? Huh? So, if we solve this, you will get 2x plus 2 less than 40. So, 2x less than 38. So, x less than 38 by 2, that is x less than 19, correct? Huh? Okay, now we got, uh, we can take it this as equation number 4. So, compare 3 and 4. So, what is your third equation? x greater than 10, x less than 90. So, using this, can we make the pair? Yes. Okay. So, we can write it this as 10 less than x less than 19. Okay. Wow. So, since x is an odd number, only we have to take odd number, right? So, x is an odd number. What are the values x take? x is equal to 11, 13, 15, 17 19 we can't take because it is not less than uh, equal to okay so these are the four numbers therefore uh, the possible pairs that's all therefore the possible pairs will be so we have to pair this number consecutive numbers right huh? so 11 comma 13 13 comma 15 15 comma 17 these are the possible pairs uh, possible consecutive pairs so this is your final answer and today is your homework exercise 2.26 the problem exercise 2.3 third problem example 2.3 2.6 and 2.9 thank you students